Tales. We are watching Saltburn today. This very spicy, spicy, spicy film. Very excited to watch this spicy film. I am ready. I have cleansed my palate. We are good to go. Everyone wanted to be around him. People just wouldn't leave him alone. Especially the girls. He's a handsome feller. <laughs> and he's tall. I think honestly that's why he liked me so much. Oh. I protected Ooh. him. I was honest with him. I understood him. Yo, creepy. This is watching. What is it about Barry that is just like instant creep? It's giving me like yearbook. Do you predict that his sexuality is out in the open or it's repressed and it's secret? Because that can also inform behavior. I know you asked me for a prediction, but I don't feel qualified to offer a prediction currently. I don't know. I mean, it looks like modern day, so I don't know why he wouldn't be comfortable with his sexuality, but also maybe he just doesn't want to be open about it, which is fine as well. I think that dude gets murdered. This guy? No, the guy he's in love with. Are you calling it now? It just seems like he's going to get murdered. Well, some dark shit's about to happen for sure. Oh, class of 2006. Okay. So it's a period movie. Yeah. <laughs> Anything before pandemic is period. Oh my gosh. My dad told me that back in his day, when they did these dinners, you had to wear a gown. For men and women. At that time, it was only men in college and only women in women's college. Because they belong in the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. No, there was like a handful of women's colleges. Studying kitchen stuff. Oliver. Oliver what? Oliver Quick. So you're a Norman no mates too then? Uh oh. Isn't everyone? It's only the first night. Look around you. Yeah, everyone's made friends, you guys. It's just me and you, mate. I'm the girl who's got agoraphobia, but she's in her room, obviously. Oh my god. I'm a genius. This is an interesting framing. Like His head really. is in the center as opposed to the in my head. upper thirds. Anything. Ask me a song. <laughs> nah, you're okay. <laughs> it's not like I don't believe you. Please. Oh my god. No, I believe you. can ask me a song then! Mega nerd! 423. Times 78. 32,994. Guy, you need to get away from this nerd table. No, they're besties. I don't like him. <laughs> He's scary. Did you come from far from home? Prescott? Yeah, where? Uh, Prescott. Did you not hear his accent? <laughs> Wait, I'm so sorry. Got completely lost. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry. Hang off. Farley. That's very friendly. <laughs> You're not uh, <clears throat> a relation of uh, Frederica Stark by any chance? Uh, she's my mother. No! I knew her when I was your age, when we were both here. Oh my gosh. She's gonna be thrilled that I've been tutored by one of her friends. Oh, no, not... What's he from? Uh, friend. We've seen him before. More, um, uh, admirer. Gran Turismo. Ah, that's right. Don't even mention me. <laughs> Uh-oh, they had a thing. Well, shall we start? Wow. <laughs> He's got glitter on his face, it's so cute. And thus, the shape of the verse can be said like Browning's last touches to look as if it were alive. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Very good. He was clearly checked out. Yeah. Thus. <laughs> hmm? You used it seven times. No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. I hate him already. So you're picking apart the style of my essay instead of the substance. Right. It's not what you argue, but how. Great point. Yeah, mm. especially if you have Why is he taking a side? The poems. Look forward to hearing your essay. <laughs> Might drop. He didn't prep one. Of course not. He's too cool. I don't know. I relate to him just because I I was that nerd. So I'm I'm already like, how dare you try and pick apart his essay based off of how he wrote it versus the content or the quality of what he was actually writing about? Screw you. You can go away. You all right? Um. Yeah, I've got a flat tire. Oh, he sounds oh, so posh. Yeah. It's bad luck. <laughs> I've just been trying to fix it. You can take my bike. Take my bike. I mean, it looks like rain. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want. Honestly, to. I mean, I'll just get it from you later. You're my college, so. Am I? Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was a little awkward. <laughs> yeah. I'm Felix. Oliver. Oliver. Yeah. Will he remember Oliver. Oliver's name? Oliver, I love you. I love. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> His reaction to him was great. Yeah. Oh, there he is! Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, there he I is. Remembered his name. I'm oh, sorry, are you with friends? 
No. Uh, n no, they just left. Oh, uh -oh. damn. Wow, yes. Hey, it's your round, man. Yeah, go on, mate. I should go to bed. Wait, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. Oh, you can't sneak your way out of the round. It's true. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, it looks like you are. Ah, <gasps> see? <laughs> He's... Oh, uh, I hate... This is up. why I don't like doing rounds. I'm a lightweight, and then I don't want to pay for everybody else's drinks. I'll bring the money tomorrow. No. Thought you might need a hand with these ones, mate. Oh, and you uh, drop this on the floor by your feet. I was going to nick it, but I thought I'd do the right thing. Oh, he's sweet. For now. Hey. That's a good friend. For now. I'm just waiting. <laughs> I know. We're, I know. We're waiting for the other shoe to drop, but yeah. right now he's a good guy and I like him. A lot of Wars characters are based on my family, actually. Yeah, I was completely what? obsessed with that house. Wow. Well, Dad, you know, felt so guilty about the whole thing that. He decided he would pay for all of Farley's education. Okay, Farley. Mm. What are your parents like? Siblings, no. And uh, my parents. Was he in foster care? They've got problems. What? What kind of? What do you mean problems? Mental health and addiction and stuff. Dad was kind of Dang. dealing and stuff. Dealing. Wow. Sounds awful. Really. Yeah. Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it awful? Can we trust him not it's to awful. share this information? Yeah, you just said something important that I didn't even think about. Because that will break him. Yeah. If that comes out, this is like very private stuff. Ooh. <laughs> oh, he feels so special. And then he goes just like to the that. Girl. Just like that. Not even any words. He nope. just swooped her up. Mm-hmm. Look at his clothes have changed too. Yeah. He'll get bored of you. Excuse me? See, he knows. There it is. He's smart. No one wants to sit next to Oliver. Why not? Because he's a scholarship boy who buys his clothes from Oxfam. That is really harsh. It's rough, though, when, when you're on scholarship and you're in a situation where a lot of these people kind of get in because their parents went to the school and, you know, they, they all come from a private school background. I'm cleaning up. <laughs> Only rich people can afford to be this filthy. Oh. I mean, you got fucking you stuff it, I'll do it later. It's fine. No, you won't, mate. No, you fucking won't. No, you won't. Yeah, because you don't know how to clean after yourself. Stress them out the exams. <laughs> I'm not stressed about the exams. Oh, frankly, you're driving me fucking... I might catch you later, yeah? Is that the separation point already? Mm, I'll text you, yeah. Mm, Damn. I'm texting you. We're breaking up. Okay. Of course. I didn't know that Bill Gates would be right that fast. Oh. See? They'll make up. No. No, 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 no. Why you think he's about to do something stupid? I thought he was, yeah. I was just seeing if Felix was in. We were supposed to meet. He's at the pub. Yeah, they're all at the pub. Oh. <laughs> okay. No way! They're gonna do it? I don't know. Do you have any alcohol? Oh my god. Yep. This is. Yep. We like you to have alcohol. What do they call them? Eskimo brothers? <laughs> is that? I think that's what it's called. Is that what it's called? I think that's, the fr I think that's what it's called. Oh wow. Get in. <laughs> do you think he'll be jealous? Absolutely. Say yes, because if you want... I don't think I'll even f***ing register. Oh no, she's gonna leave. Oh god, dude. You fucked up. You didn't know. Damn. Oh no. It's okay, you didn't want to Ew. be... Ew. You didn't want to be a revenge shag, that's fine. How'd it happen? Cracked his head on the pavement. Probably drunk. No, I'm dead. Oh, no. You've got to go. No. Can't miss the exams. Of course you can miss no, the fucking thanks. exams. No. Different I'm not rules. Like you, yeah. This is all I have. It sounds like this is a, a some kind of burden people don't recognize that Felix has as well. Like being in his position. Maybe. Like people look at him and think, oh, you've got it all and blah, blah, blah. We have this tradition, right? When somebody dies, we write their name on a stone and we chuck it in the river. My great-grandfather started it when his son died in the war. I've only done it for my dog so far, but... <laughs> Way to contextualize that. It, Where did it go? Did it... It didn't even land oh, in the river. Good. 
<laughs> oh no! I mean, oh man! Oh, in the puke! <laughs> you think you'll go home? It does feel symbolic in a way, though. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever go home again. But what about your mom? You know, the first time I felt the inside my mom's throat. Huh? Well, I was eight. Oh, you had to like help her throw up. told me. Oh, to throw. Oh. Stick my fingers in to make her sick. Ew, man! What a thing to put an eight-year-old through. Yeah. So home doesn't mean the same for me as it does for you, Felix. The fucking filth of the place, the mess. I can't do it. Ah, that's why you wanted to clean up. <laughs> well, why don't you come home with me? Wow. Can you them? No. Yeah. It won't feel weird. It won't feel weird. I mean, mum has people come and stay for months at a time. This dude, this actor, he looks like he could be a Clark Kent. Yeah. I didn't get I the him. whole Jacob Elordi bandwagon before, but watching this, I'm like, yeah, he's cute. <laughs> You're early. Uh, uh, I've got the earlier train. Well, do let us know next time. You see, the gates were not open. Oh, that's, that's okay. We sent someone to pick you up. Oh. Sure. oh. Follow me. Oh, Judge that judgment. look! That look! Beautiful eyes. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah, I told you it wasn't a minga. Oh, <laughs> but darling, you're kind about everyone. That's a very English word, isn't it? Yeah. Has Venetia seen you yet? Oh my God, she'll die. She's been draping herself all around the house all day, hoping you'll come across her. <laughs> As it were. Do stop. Dang. Come and sit by me. This is <sighs> my dear friend, Pamela. Why is he so and jealous? Hey. Because he used to be the charity case. He's blood, though. Yeah. O Oliver's not. God, I was so sorry to hear about your father. How utterly, utterly tragic. I've lost so many friends to addiction. So, Dang. so many. She thinks she's being helpful. Yeah. Darling, tell me about your mother still drinking. Stop. Ignore him. Yeah. Brother. Nothing shocks me. Either. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Tell me everything. That's overwhelming. There's some interesting... Edits in there with the what's her name, Venetia? I don't know if that's well. Venetia. Anyway, that lady, the young yeah. one, like when she flicked the cigarette lighter, and then when she went down to look at him, it was like very fast cuts. Your family's so kind to me. Mm, for now. Yeah. Sweet. I see why Felix likes you so much. Oh, what is it? You're so um. So what? Uh oh. Ernest? I think I like you even more than last year's one. Oh, oh. shit. Oh. This is feeling like very get out ish. A little bit, yeah. Oh my goodness. We're over here, Ollie! Hey. What? <laughs> no trunks allowed in the field. MGMT? <laughs> MGMT's playing. How did you know? I just I know the beginning of the song oh. really well. I had to listen to it on repeat a bunch for an edit I did a long time ago. Oh, I love that outfit. Wow, what a summer. What are these? Uh, the palace plates. The Damien Bernard Palace. The 16th century Huguenot ceramicist. Wow. Do you know that? I've always loved his work. Oh, he studied up. Wow, Very smart clever. boy, smart boy. <laughs> That's how you get in. Yeah. You gotta survive. Exactly. He's trying his best to belong. Oh no. This could be awkward or not. Who knows? Five bucks says a three way is coming. Five bucks? Yeah. A three way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, we're just watching. Is he gonna touch himself? I guess his, I guess uh, Felix is just touching himself and he's just watching. Yeah. He, but Felix had to know that door is. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't give a shit. Is this how guys normally do this? <laughs> In the bath? <laughs> it's like. I'm just about efficiency. I'm just like, I'm very in my mind. I'm not making noises. I don't want to get distracted by anything. He seemed like he was like properly enjoying himself. What's happening now? What's in his mind? Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh no! Oh God! Oh! Ah! Wait, it's... Ah! <laughs> oh my God! Ah! 
Ah! Ah! Fuck! Oh. Ah! This is very ah, sexual. No! Go! Oh. God damn it! <laughs> Stop it! Move on! Wow. That's kind of hot. That is, not, <laughs> that is not hot. That is the total 100% antithesis of hot. That is fucking vomit inducing. Poor V. She's sexually incontinent. But if she found the right boy, or girl, I don't care. Anything. I was a lesbian for a while, you know. Oh. But it was all just too wet for me in the end. Men are so lovely and dry. <laughs> what do you think uh, Pamela will be wearing tonight? What? Oh, Pamela's not here. Oh, sh she's gone. James thought it would be better to peel her away this morning without too much of a scene. You're not eating anything. Yes, I am. Well, you're not keeping her down. I mean, you're so beautiful, Venetia. Oh? You need to look after yourself. I think it's so interesting that the shot is just That's on her. Normal. That's her reaction. Yeah, I know. You're going to stay at the table. And then what? Do you understand? Some kind of transitions happened with him. Yeah. He's feeling more powerful. Maybe he ate some magic sauce out of the dude's, out of Felix's stuff. The spunky spunk. Yeah, the spunky spunk. Maybe it gave him some kind of confidence. What? 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 Excuse you? I could just see you. This requires consent. Oh. It's it's not the right time of the month. I don't think he cares. Anything you think I'm worried about? It's rainbow kiss time. It's lucky for you, I'm a vampire. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh my lord! What the <laughs> fuck is this movie? <laughs> oh my god! That's a bit. That's that's oh, that's just too much. Oh, she's into it. That cannot taste good. This tastes like iron. I'm sure you never. Which doesn't your taste good. Own blood. Where did he come from? Who are you? He's adopted the uh, like like a chameleon, just like the He's vibe. He's blended and the in, yeah. And the depravity. <sighs> I can't even enjoy this. Like it's the blood is just. Is, <laughs> mm. <laughs> no oh way. He's going for it. Oh, he's watching. Stupid little boy. Why stupid? It's what does Farley know that he doesn't? We should do something fun for your birthday. A proper party. What kind of party? I don't know, whatever you want. What do you think? About a hundred people. What? 100. Or two. It invariably ends up being two, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> he's like, I only have one friend. Oh, oh. How about fancy dress? Oh my goodness, oh, yes. Dad's so excited. I wear my suit for armor, oh, Elspeth. Oh my God, how cute. Felix, is everything oh. okay? Yes. Because you're acting weird. It's just slightly bad form, that's all. Oh, he knows. Oh. What do you think? Getting with Venetia, Ollie. What makes you think I got with Venetia? Farley saw you too. I saw her outside and I went down to see was she okay and I think she got the wrong end of the stick because she tried to kiss me. Wow. Farley said you two were practically eating each other. Oh, and you believe him? Me and Venetia. Oh. Come on. He's sowing doubt between him yeah. and uh... Farley. King Farley, what a little shit stirrer. Well, someone has to entertain us all. Right. Oh, thank God. You know, I thought we had another early situation. What's that? What happened? I need to know. He came to stay with us. Developed a little thing for Venetia and... I don't know, everything just got so awkward. What does Felix want? Yeah, I don't know, actually. A friend? A friend he can control who is just, like, not interested in sex with anybody? Any relations other than a friendship? We're all throwing all over a party for 200 people while my mother lives in squalor. Oh, she's hardly living in squalor, man. Well, she can't pay her bills, so she will be. Oh. That's exactly why Dad's concerned about helping her. He doesn't want to enable her. He wants her to learn to stand on her own two feet. Yeah, like he does. Farley. I mean, you do know how this looks. Making me come to you with a begging bowl? Why don't you ask Liam and Joshua? Who, uh, who, who are the Liam and Joshua? Yeah, who are they? Your footman. The server, the, the help? Yeah. Is that why you want to take this? Right. Make it a race thing. We hardly even notice that you're 
different or anything like that. Mm. Hardly noticed. I never noticed. know our footmen's names. The tone of a footman is notoriously high. <laughs> My father has been more generous than most people would be. A lot more. Well, maybe, maybe we've done all that we can. Oh. Dang. There it is. Farley, maybe you've got to go. Did you see what happened with Pamela? He's clearing the way for himself, so he's the only one left. But then if he's the only one left, he can also get replaced really easily. Felix warned you off then. Well, maybe we just need to be a bit more careful. So disappointing. Uh oh Why? You're just another one of his toys. Oh, no. Why did you tell Felix about me and Venetia? Well, I don't think he reacted. Oh, shut up. If you ever want to talk to anyone, you can talk to me, Farley. Oh. Well, I know you're going through a hard time at home. Things are so precarious. Oh, power play. If I can help in any way, just ask. Would he? <laughs> now it's time to take things up a notch. Um... Okay, we have someone here. It's so bizarre to oh, think no. about. No. It's it's so bizarre to think about this kind of karaoke and that kind of music in this environment, right? Because yeah. it's so like posh. Yes, yes, be shy. I'm sure this really happens. It's just wild oh, yeah. to think about. I don't know the song, do you? I don't know it. It's easy. He definitely chose that song on purpose. I love you, Teddy Myron. Woo! You tell him, Farley. What? He's such a bitch. This song as well, Farley. Come finish it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you took me to a restaurant. You showed me who we were. Yeah, good for you. Uh oh. Don't break anything. Don't break anything. Why would you do that? He's angry. Not... He's I know, just gonna take it out. That's not your on shit. Go outside and punch a tree or a rock. What the f are you doing? Oh my god. What do you think I'm doing? I think I'm in the wrong fing room. Am I? He's using everything at his disposal. Our boy Ollie's getting around. He only has Felix left. That's true. Oh, that was oh, they... quick. How'd they do that in the middle of the night while he was asleep? What? I would be very concerned. The yeah, help the help sees everything. everything. He said that. They see everything. They know everything. It's fine. What happened? He tried to nick something. What are you talking about? Oh, did he... Did he plant that in his room? Something? What actually happened? He sent an email to Sotheby's to say that he'd come by some palacey plate. Ugh. I mean, the idiot. He had to have known that Dad went to school with the chairman. You <laughs> talk about biting the hand. Oliver, don't mention it, okay? What happens if I bring them up? They won't. What a glorious day. Mm. Never known a summer as hot as this one. Swell. I think he's even hotter than last They'll year. They'll just pretend he doesn't exist yeah. anymore. Possible, but Phase him out. God, I wish we didn't have to go to London. I didn't know you were going to London. Pamela's funeral. What? Pamela died. Yeah. Just do anything for attention. Wow. Whoa. It's getting dark, my friend. Get dressed. We're going on a road trip. Where? I'm just surprised. Oh. Wear something nice. Like, but how nice, though? <laughs> I need more clues. It's a subjective word. Nice it's like, to you. Are you be nice Cause to... like, you know, they wear black tie. It's like, are we going black tie or just like, you know, put on. Nice to me, it could nice. be Marshalls. Nice to you is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ross dressed for less. You know, I'd, that's nice. What is gonna happen, Achara? I don't know, a tumble in the hay. Look, Ollie, just, just hear me out, all right? Oh, no. Just, just hear me out. What, what we're going doing? home? You doing? Your no. mom called a week ago. You, you left your phone in the bathroom, so I thought I thought I, I, I sort of just picked up. Oh, no. You're going to see shit. You don't, you can't unsee this. I right, just want to send you a card for your birthday. Please turn the car around. You can't take me there. You have to fix this, mate. On his birthday. 
Oh, well, this is nice, mate. Look, she's clearly cleaned up her act. This is lovely. What's the truth? What's the truth here? Let's do this. He, he paid for something, maybe. Or has he been lying? Maybe he's been lying this whole time. Maybe he's like a serial liar or something like that, like a compulsive liar. And he just made up the story so that he would feel sorry for him. It turns out he's actually like a nice middle-class boy. Maybe. Oliver. <gasps> Franz, you're alive. <laughs> I didn't oh. recognize you. So Christian. You must be Felix. It's so nice to meet you. Your father's in the garden. His father. Yeah. He lies. He's been pacing around all morning. He's so excited. Come in. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, got this nice is parents. way cleaner than we were expecting. We had this whole idea in our mind yeah. about how awful this was going to be. Did you tell me you were only child, Oliver? No. I've always talked about my sisters. Oh, my God. What the? F Who are you? Right. God. You know, Leave him have, here. Don't take him back home. <laughs> He always wanted to be an only child, always beetling off by himself. Oh, I bet, yeah, yeah, I bet. Yeah, lies. He's the top scholar at Oxford. <laughs> the top scholar? <laughs> God, he's so modest, you know, I, I had... Oh, my goodness. Felix, please, let me just explain. I think the best thing is that you go home after your party. Yeah. Summer's almost finished anyway, so I think we'll have your party tonight and I will see you back at Oxford. And we can still be friends, though. No, you lied. Yeah, I don't even know where to start. I mean, you're a f***ing liar, Ollie. Yeah. Let's just get through tonight. Can you not tell your family, please? Of course not, f***ing hell. It's dark enough as it is. I mean, I'd be pissed. You let someone into you let someone into your home, and they're not telling the truth. You know, your whole relationship is based off of a massive lie. Who's that? The help. Oh, never mind. Hello, Father. Oh. Have they seen you yet? Not yet. Oh, wow. We're hardcore partying it up today. I just can't. And I'm like, oh, Oliver, you'll never catch on. This place, <laughs> you know, it's not for you. It's an anecdote you'll pour your fat kids with at Christmas. Oliver's once in a lifetime hand job on a hay bale, golden big boy summer. Catch a dream. To whatever creepy doll factory it is they make Oliver's in. And I. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver seems unperturbed. Felix. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, what a bummer. What are you doing here? I need to talk to you. Were you spying on us? No, I wasn't. We Please need stop. to talk. We can't. We can't. Are you fucking crazy? Throw you're me crazy. Away. Get the f away from me! Look, I just gave you what you wanted! Like everyone else does. So I'm sorry if my, my performance wasn't good enough. Is he putting on a show right now? I think you need to see somebody. Yeah. yeah. Okay, seriously. You freak me out now. I just need you to understand how much I fucking love you. Whoa, he says just put it out there. You're the only friend I ever had, Felix. How you did? Doesn't this just prove how much? How much of a good friend I actually am. I don't know what you are. Yep. Yeah. Begging rarely works out, but he hasn't pushed him away yet. No. What did you know you? Oh. You made my fucking blood run cold. Oh, oh. damn. Is he going to leave him there? Does he feel bad? I can't, I yeah. can't figure him out. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't leave. So I feel like there's something still there. Like he still feels a little sorry for him. Just go to bed and go home. No, he's not. He's not. He doesn't seem like someone who <laughs> no. wants to lose. <laughs> no, <laughs> no way. He's not, he's not gonna go down without a fight. Oh my gosh. What happened to Felix? What did you do? <laughs> what the fuck happened? Darling, darling boy. My darling boy. Uh, Dad, are you okay? We need to get him inside, get him warm. Oh no, he's in denial. Felix, darling, where's your jumper? Hmm? 
Where's your jump? Oh, he's lost it. Come on now. I think the police. Yes. Yes, come away, darling. <laughs> it's nearly lunch. Oh my gosh. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Like, your kid just died. Like, I mean, maybe they're just in shock. Oliver, darling, why didn't you tell us about last night? Last night? Mm, did you have a lovely time? Oh, my God. Yeah, it was uh, wonderful. Thank you. Oh, good. I think it was a hit, don't you, darling? Oh, yes. A triumph. Their way yes, of... the house looked good, didn't it? Just moving forward is so bizarre. Yeah. The coroner's outside and we need to pass the window. Yes, thank you. Close them. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's like they're all covered in blood. Oh, yeah. May my I be excused, please? No, we haven't finished lunch. The lunch is cold. What do you want me to say? Will you be quiet? Yeah. Sit down and eat the bloody pie. Just eat it. Eat it. And shut up. Eat the bloody pie. You're not the only person here with feelings. None of us wants your... American I was feelings. thinking he's the only American, the only one having like a, a reaction, whereas all the English people are like, put a lid on it. What the fuck pretend. are you still doing here? Like, does no one else find it weird? What's the English attitude? It doesn't. It doesn't do to dwell. I wouldn't throw stones. I was you, Father. Excuse me. Please stop. What is he saying? I have no idea. What I'm saying is, I would feel guilty too. Oh my gosh. I'm racking up lines tonight. Someone died. You. Oh, he OD. Is that true? Could be, or it could be no. that. Get out. Oh my gosh. Um. What's happening? Oh my gosh. Get out. I just don't, I don't know what to believe anymore. Maybe this was all his plan. I don't think so. I used to like Ollie, but now I'm like, I don't know if I can trust anything. Oh, this little teddy bear. A Farley was trying to shift some negative attention on him. Yeah, I mean, they're all messed up. This actor has, like, gone through everything in this movie. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, he's really good. Bro, what are you doing? He's making love to the soil. I find this more disturbing than the bathtub. It's all disturbing. I saw you sobbing in the church at the funeral. I watched you weeping away and I just, I felt so sorry for you. I remember then that you only knew him for- Yeah, exactly. She's a sister. Months? You're just a stranger. Oh, he's got one person left to eliminate. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm scared for her. Ooh. In a bath? Just... That's true. He could kill her here, and it would be considered that she did it herself. You know, he does. From the inside out. He's drunk way too much. Yeah. Mm. Isn't that his aftershave? Yeah, see? You ate him right up, and you licked the fucking plate. What? Oh. This is such a weird movie. What? I guess she's just dealing with her trauma in some weird way. They're all twisted and messed up people. Yeah. Okay. And broke her completely. Who is he talking to at this point? She couldn't live without him. What did I tell you? Damn. How long are you planning on staying with us? Because Elspeth won't let you go. I'm happy to stay as long as she needs me to. Very kind of you. But I'm not sure that's good for her or us. Oh, Dad's going. It would be best if the family was able to grieve in private. Oh, I, I understand. I agree. But I just think it's best if I stay. Just for the time being. Oh, God. You won't go. I don't see how I can. He's playing his, him at his own game. How much for you to leave and never come back to cease all contact with my wife? Why? Because we all have to move on. Damn. How much? He's not. Oh, he's about to have a heart attack, isn't he? What's gonna happen? He kills him. He fell down the stairs. I don't know. Whoa! 
This is highly sus. No? Okay, he's leaving. Oh. GTFO. I thought for sure he, like, pushed him over the stairs or something. I was wondering. I mean... I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. Oh, Ollie. Oh, how handsome you look. I can't believe it. It seems like there's a time jump. Like, her hair's different. Yeah. His hair. I read the news about Sir James. I'm so dreadfully sorry. She's all right. I was surprised he waited so long. Mm -hmm. She's all alone now. He can move in. Ollie, I didn't like it the way James treated you. Oh, Time no, but it's not to me. You see, I've thought about it a lot. And come up and stay. Oh. At Saltburn. Coast is clear now, isn't it? See? Mm -hmm. So she was the target all along. These last few months have been the happiest of my life. Because it really seemed like he had something for Felix. It's um, just such a shame you Felix. got will. What? Oh my god. Let me guess, he made her write over Saltburn to him in the will or something. It's been a privilege to look after you. Just as it'll be a privilege to look after Saltburn. Yo, this dude is crazy. I promise I'll look after this house just as Felix would have. We got there in the end, didn't we? Somehow. Thank God. After all those terrible, terrible accidents. Is there really ever such thing as an accident, Elspeth? I don't know. Oh, he's gonna pull the plug. Accidents are for people like you. I actually know how to work. Oh, wow. He... <gasps> oh, I was wondering about wow. that. Oh, from the start, I didn't even... He definitely oh, had me been... fooled in the beginning. He oh, he saw it? What well, is he? He's not dead. Oh, he oh fuck. Fate. He planted something. Yeah, that's why I told you. God, I love them. Sometimes. I... Hated him? I, I, I hate them. Oh my god, please stop. I hate it all again. Oh no. Spoiled dog sleeping belly up. Oh my god, they did not even know. No natural predators. I told you! Shit. Where's, Far where's Farley? Well, he got rid of Farley before. But Farley's not dead. He's not dead, no. <laughs> what? I don't know the, the song. The song, Murder on the Dance Floor. I was wondering why this song had come back into, into fashion. It's a great song. So he's just partying by himself. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Is he going to do like a whole dance naked? Well, damn. damn. That was not the movie that I was expecting. I mean, I feel like this film, especially that bathtub scene, was just so overhyped and like heard people talking about it and like, oh, it's so debauched. It's so uh, Char, crazy. Uh, we, we, we got over this. It's the idea. It, it's the idea. Like the idea is enough. I, I think it was just so overhyped in my mind that when I watched it, I was like, oh, OK, I guess. That's fine. Everything, like, when you know how the magic works, it's not the same. It's like, the idea is everything. And it's like, they sold me on the idea. I know how the strings are pulled and I was still grodied out. You, okay, oh, just, okay. So we're just talking about that bathtub scene, right? Like, I don't know. I just feel like it was such a cool scene because it showed just the level of crazy this guy is. And like the level of deep obsession. Depravity. Yeah, that he would want, he, he like, what? 
wanted him so badly or wanted his life and his essence so badly that he would like suck up the juice from the bottom of a bathtub. I just thought that that was such an interesting way to portray that character and that desire, you know? Yeah, it's gross. It's a grody. Like, why would you do that? But it's like, yeah, he's he's basically sucking up the dregs, the scum, just to be close. I feel like that is that is his personality. That's who he is. You know what this reminds me of? What? Is the uh, Indian film on Netflix, White Tiger. Uh, yeah. Uh, it just feels somewhat similar to that. Like, just the vibe of, like, this person who's, like, seemingly just innocent like and he's an innocuous. Outsider. Yeah. yeah, just like, oh, he's just the help kind oh, of. Oh, we just way. took him in, like, this little charity case. Yeah. We're so sorry for him. Poor boy, poor boy. And yeah. turns out he's been manipulating them all along because he read yeah. them like a book. I love it. Yeah, I don't know what the takeaway is supposed to be at the end of it. Is it supposed to feel cathartic because we all feel like we, you know, we wish we could do something like that to the wealthy and take them out and take what they have? Is that the idea? Like, I don't know what my takeaway is supposed to be. It was an interesting story and an interesting tale and it definitely captivated me. I love the way it was shot. Yeah. And uh, uh, what's his name? Barney? Uh, uh, Barry? Barry. The dude is a powerhouse. He's amazing. Like, I've watched him over the years and I've always thought he was just kind of a weird feller and like, this was suited perfectly for him because between his height and his look and the way he's able to have that kind of hung dog, hung dog expression Yeah. Uh, and just like, you wouldn't think He's capable of such things. And you, as the story unfolds and you see what he's done and you have that M. Night Shyamalan reveal towards the end of the story, it's like, oh my goodness, he is so scary. Yeah. Um, but I, I think that they did, they did an excellent job in terms of the filmmaking, the storytelling, uh, the writing, the acting, across the board, fantastic. Yeah, so good. I mean, I love that it kept us on the edge of our seats the entire time. The way they cut it, like yeah. the editing, where it would just go from one scene and then like hard cut to this other moment. They really trimmed the fat, but then you know, it kept us guessing because we're like, wait, what happened? Like a whole bunch of stuff got cut out and you're yeah. kind of filling in the blanks until right at the very end, the reveal happens and it's like, oh shit, this has been going on since the very first meeting, yeah. you know? That didn't even cross my mind because initially I was just like, oh, he just played the cards that he was dealt really, really well. But then it turns out, nope. So his goal the whole time was to just take what they have. That was his goal. I mean, maybe his goal shifted. Maybe in it, yeah. But no. But the thing is, he wanted. He wanted. He. I think he wanted to be there by himself with Felix. But that was never going to happen. So maybe. But I think initially, in my mind, this is my theory. Is just initially he just wanted to be friends. He wanted to be in the group, right? So he needed to figure out a way to get in, and Felix was the way because Felix is a nice guy. And then so he fabricated all of like. Well, he punctured his bike tire. He fabricated the story about his family to make it seem like, oh, he's a charity case. I should feel sorry for him, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then eventually as he got to Saltburn, then it turned into, no, I want I want this. Okay. This looks good. That's that's what I think. I was anyway. a little surprised nothing ever came back around with the Bill Gates character. That just dropped off the film. Oh, you know, like his, that completely just fell away. Friend. But, you know, it was interesting how they foreshadowed uh, with the stone throwing in a seemingly sweet scene. Yeah. It was foreshadowing something much darker later on. That's interesting. The, the, the movie really got me because I, I went from, well, I think the very first time I saw Barry Kian. Ke I tried. Okay, anyway, Barry. Barry Kihui Kwan. Kian. Anyway, um, the first time I saw him, I was like, this guy just looks creepy. And that's also because. You talking he, about him as an actor in well, general or in the movie? Both. both okay he his look lends really well to those type of creepy characters like when we saw him in the green knight mm -hmm. he kind of has that similar vibe right like he played the joker in that cut scene like that um end credits scene batman. in yeah. the batman right he just kind of has a quality that lends itself really well to like the eerie and the creepy and then after that i was like oh no but he's so sweet he's just trying to be friends like he's just this big nerd i could relate to him and then eventually it was like oh no, this guy is a sociopath and no one recognizes it. It's like you said, you know, they, they, they don't see it because they, they're not looking out for it. I'm genuinely surprised that Saltburn did not get any Oscar nominations whatsoever. And yeah. I'm wondering why. And it maybe it has something to do with the fact that it didn't, it's, it's not inclusive enough or something. Because I know that that's a factor nowadays with Oscar nominations is you have to have a certain amount of uh, inclusiveness in order to get 
selected, right. which confuses me because of uh, the w- one best picture and best director, which is Oppenheimer. <laughs> yeah. Because, but don't try and make it make sense. <laughs> it but, doesn't. Yeah. But like, I think that this deserved Oscar nominations at the very yeah. least because the the level of I don't know. It's just the artistry that went into it i feel i'm just thinking about the main actor and and, and the, yes the film itself at least deserved an, an oscar nomination because the thing is you know uh, oppenheimer was was a good movie yeah but i feel like it's one of those things like you know christopher nolan has has, has impacted and saved the industry you know <laughs> you know alongside barbie and all that but it's like it feels like thank you it's a thank you oscar you know what i mean kind of yeah yeah uh, even though he you know he he hasn't been in the industry as long as scorsese but even scorsese's oscar felt like a thank you oscar you know what i mean and so i don't know that this would have ever won but at least a nomination should have felt like it was deserved here uh, yeah i the, thought it was just a stunning movie i've watched both movies now kelly murphy did a really really good job I think I would have handed it to him. Really? Yeah, because it's just like the pl- I don't know. He he was so compelling as a performance, and the places he had to he had to literally make himself naked. Yeah, like in all the ways possible. Yeah, and and what he did to me, like it really messed with my head. I don't know. I thought that was such a powerful performance. It was an amazing performance. Yeah. Like he did such a wonderful job. And I mean, uh, you know, he's he's a young actor. And hopefully he has a, a long and illustrious career in front of him. Yeah. I, I thought he did such a great job. I mean, all around the acting was really great. Like, I, I really felt like I was in this world of, like, the upper crust, the top echelon of English society, you know, like practically royalty. And and I just loved the way that they were able to convey that with the dialogue, with the acting, the things that were said, and more importantly, the things that were unsaid. Like, it just, was just so uncomfortable. I just think it's such a brave performance yeah, um, to truly. do. It's like you read that and you read what you have to do and it's like, okay, <laughs> like, I guess I'm dancing around naked for the final shot of the film. I feel like he definitely worked out He because, you know, he definitely worked really hard on his physique because looking at his body, I was like, I feel like maybe this character wouldn't be as cut or as built as he was in the movie, mm-hmm. but knowing full well that he would have to go completely naked, I was like, yeah. good on you. You look good. To be fair, though, to Killian Murphy, I think Killian Murphy's performance was excellent, and I get why he won. Yeah. You know, it's just like to not even get a nomination is crazy I to know. Me. He should have at uh, least got a nomination. Uh, but like the all around, like it was de- the thing is, the, the, the film is unforgettable. I feel like it's one of those experiences like when you watch it, you're going to remember this. Forever. For, for Yeah, for years to come, you're going to remember it. it it's going to leave. If, if It's like, who are you if it doesn't leave some kind of impression on you? It's like such a weird experience. Like, I really, really like this movie. I think, like, on, on all accounts, the acting, the directing, the set design, the costumes, the storytelling was spectacular. And it took me on a journey. Like, I felt uncomfortable. I felt, mm. like, weirdly... Like, oh, this is kind of erotic and like ooh, yeah. slightly, you know, ooh, hot under the collar and all of that. But see, that's where you and I are, are agree to disagree. <laughs> I don't like this movie. <laughs> You don't? No. I, I I appreciate it. I appreciate it on all levels. I think it's such, such fantastic filmmaking. I can't commit to the phrase, I like this movie. I like it. Because I wouldn't ever want to see it again. It's like, well, you know what I mean? That's where we agree because I, I was thinking as we were watching this, I was like, I think this movie is great. Yeah. I would recommend people to watch it, like definitely watch it once. Would I watch this again? I don't think this has rewatch factor for me. But I loved it. It's like Rec Room for a Dream, for instance, right? I really, really appreciate that film and Aronofsky's work in general. Yeah. I hate that movie because I hate what it did to me. But like, that's the mark of good filmmaking sometimes, though. Is yeah, like, it, you, did, did it affect you? Yeah, it doesn't It doesn't have to be a film you like. But, it, you know, I, I, wasn't Aronofsky who said it? It's like the worst thing that can happen is that you walk out of the film and forget it. I think, yeah. I think he's the one who said it. It's like, I agree with I He's one of my favorite directors of all time. And so when I say that I hate Requiem for a Dream, I don't mean the sense of, you know, Madam, Madam Web or something right. like, you know what I mean it's like it's it's not a bad movie by any stretch I just didn't like the feelings that I had it's like I don't want to relive that right I, yeah I don't want to relive this experience no exactly you know I wouldn't want to relive this experience but I really like this movie <laughs> I really liked it what it did <laughs> Acting, writing, music, everything. Amazing. It has, yeah, like stunning. Yeah. 
It's so good. It's, it's powerful. So anyways, you guys, thanks so much for hanging. I'm Jabby Kawe. This is Achara. Peace out.